All right, so first thing we're going to do is bring in the uh, mosaics TIFF that has all the shoreline imagery mosaic together. And if you notice, it comes in. It doesn't properly come in with the right color, so the water looks kind of brownish. So we're going to zoom in and look at that a little more clearly. Yeah, so it's brown. The land doesn't really look right. So you're going to right-click on mosaics and go to property. We're going to click on style and change the band, red band to band 3, the green band can stay at band 2, and then the blue band is going to change to band 1. And I click apply and see down there it changes to blue so everything looks like it's going to be okay. And click OK and there you go. So now that we got that problem solved, I'm just going to zoom out, zoom in, right click and zoom to layer just so we get the full overview and now you see that black ring around it that's called a data collar so we're going to click the identify button and then click somewhere in the black you're going to get your results and you just slide it out to the right and notice that every band has a value of zero so that means the value for those cells are zero 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 so we're going to right click on mosaics go to property then click on transparency and you can just type in zero into the additional no data value and that hit enter or OK and that will get rid of it it just tells the software that zeros are no data so you don't have to show them as black so we're just going to move that over and make our map a little bit bigger and let me just Make that full screen. Okay, so now that we have our imagery, we are going to click on layers, go to create layer, new shape file layer, and we're going to create a shoreline polygon. So click on polygon, and you want to make sure the it is set to African Lambert Conformal Conic. And just click OK. And it should prompt you. I'm just trying to find where I'm going to actually save it. Okay, so this is the folder I'm going to save it in, and then I'm just going to name it Short Line. And click Save when you're ready. Okay, so now we have this Short Line polygon. There's nothing in it. All we did is create it, and that's what we're actually going to do. We're going to edit it. So we're going to digitize all of this area. And create a short line. First, we're going to start editing. You're going to click the Add Feature button, and we're just going to create a box that surrounds all of our data. So, you're just going to click there, click there, click, and click. So, we have a box surrounding it all. And after you make your final click, you can just right click, and it should end it and I'm just going to type 1 in the ID feature. You don't have to type anything but I just clicked 1 and clicked OK. So now we have a box surrounding our shoreline area. So save your edits. Now right click, go to properties. And because this is filling, there's a fill to it, it's covering up our data so we can't actually see what we're digitizing. So just go to style and then you actually want to be Click, um, you're going to click simple fill over on the left right here yeah and then go up and actually click the fill color and change that to transparent fill sorry it took me a little bit to get there and click OK and once it is done rendering it should just be hollow okay so now you just have an outside box around it and what we're going to do is we're going to just start editing the box and slowly moving it in and making it fit on the shoreline. So just zooming in right now to where the uh, we're going to begin our digitizing. And give me a second. Sorry about that. Yeah, you want to set your scale bar down there to 1 out of 25,000. It makes it... Uh, just consistent the entire time and then you'll know that that's the scale at which you digitize so that's the scale of your shoreline 
Yeah. Okay, so we're just trying to pan and get to the corner that we're going to start at. Sorry, it just takes a little bit on these computers. So that point right there is where we're going to start. So you're going to click on shoreline and begin editing. But we need to actually zoom out a little bit in a second. So just you can zoom out. Zoom out one more time until we see that black box. Okay, and you're just going to double click on the box using the node tool, which is this right here. And then you're just going to drag that into about where the corner starts. And then double click the line again and just drag that somewhere off to the left because you're going to end up just keep double clicking on that line that you just dragged over and moving stuff down. So that's just kind of used to uh, get your extra points. So again, we're going to change the scale back to what we want it to be at 1 to 25,000. And we're going to pan over to where we just put that original point. There we go. So the point doesn't actually look right. So we're just going to click the node tool. We're going to click on that point, and then you're just going to adjust that point to where you see fit. And then we're going to start digitizing. So you can double click anywhere on the line. It'll add a new node, and then you just start dragging and dropping that onto where you believe it goes. Obviously, um, the shorter your lines are, the more accurate it's going to be. If you start doing long lines, and just cutting stuff, you're going to lose some detail. So you try to go as accurate as you can. Uh, you obviously don't have to get every little nook and cranny. It's just not possible. So you're just going to keep double clicking on the line and dragging it into place. So we're going to do this for a little bit. Yeah, notice I have some bigger lines, but that's because it's straight. And then other times it, you can't go straight, so you have to do a bunch of short ones. So you just keep double clicking and then dragging your node to where you want to go. We're going to do this for a little bit. And if you place one in the wrong spot, you can just always click it and then move it again. You don't have to delete it or anything like that. So just keep double clicking the line and moving around. We're about to get towards the end of the screen, so what we're going to end up doing is just going up top and using the pan tool, and then start using the node tool again as soon as we're done. So here we are. Right there, those lines are a little big, in all honesty. So we're going to use the pan tool, drag over. Wait for it to render. You want to use as much space as you can, so move that as far upright as you can. So you don't have to keep panning it and go back to the node tool. Double click on that line and start the process again. Yeah, see, I went a little too far there, so I'm just going to drag it back. So I was kind of cutting the corners. So there we go, and then just start again. Yeah, some are straight away, so you can do longer lines. We're going to pan. Give us some room. Move that to the top. Click the node tool again when we're ready. Okay. I'm going to double click on this line and I'm actually just going to drag it back out into the middle so I can easily click it and keep dragging more points from it. So you can do that whenever you feel necessary, whenever you feel like you've gotten ahead of the last point of it. Just makes it easier for you so you don't have to keep going back. Just going to keep digitizing this. And make sure your scale stays at 1 to 25,000, otherwise, it's not consistent throughout. There again, I just moved that. All 
right, and one more time. No tool. Keep on going. Yeah, this can be kind of tedious, but it has to be done for certain things. And the more accurate you are, the better. Alright, so I'm just going to save my edits real quick and turn off the editor and zoom out and keep zooming out. Alrighty, so at this point you can see that we have we started to digitize that outside part of the shoreline. So that's what we have right there from there to there. And then we're going to digitize the rest of this. I'm just going to pause the video so it doesn't go on for a long time. But as you can see, we're going to do this outside part. And then it's actually going to cut right through there and go around and make sure when you do it that you don't do the islands. We're only worried about the shorelines. The next part is going to be after we're done this, uh, piece over here we're going to do the islands and then I'm going to teach you how to merge them together. All right.